Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on The Ankle. Hey, Ember. Hello, booty beauties. <laughs> so I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for tuning on in. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I can subscribe because for today's video, we're taking a look at Foodie's recent, very short upload, The Girls. The Girls. Oh working for 10 minutes a day god damn that's really hard for them apparently so we have foodies 5x plus size timu hall try on brother why is the title like a timu title <laughs> like <laughs> oh my gosh but she is back in Kuwait, you guys. I did see that. Um, it was a few days ago. It was a few days ago she went back. So she's there. Who knows if Salah is. I thought she was going to be on vacation longer. I don't know. To be fair, really haven't been paying attention to Foodie. She's so boring. <laughs> Those live streams, dude. Oh my god. But yeah, thank you so much for tuning on in, guys, once again. I really appreciate all of the positive feedback that we got on the Amberlynn tarot reading. Maybe I'll do one for Foodie and Salah in the future. We'll see. But yeah, I wonder if she'll mention anything about that or the pets or we're definitely going to see a visible weight gain. I mean, my God, my God, the girl that sat in a hotel for a month and got DoorDash. Oh, she gained y'all. Dragula, the first episode came out last night. Oh, I'm so excited, but I have to film this first. Ah! I'm definitely going to be reviewing uh, each of the episodes or recapping, I don't know, over on the other channel. So yeah, sorry you guys about the Maculate review. We are still going to do it. We're still going to sit down and talk about it. Um, It's just that I've had to read like four or five chapters out of the books on it, uh, really catching up on my religious horror reading. So just give her some time to study and we'll get there. All right, enough yapping. Let's dive on into this. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> well, hello guys, hello. Hey, foodie. Oh, I'm doing okay, except that I have a hangnail that's annoying the crap out of me or the oh better cut it off she's listen <laughs> i feel very mean but she's looking bigger the girls are ballooning this season holy christ pieces of skin around the nail that pop ew oh foodie ew Ugh. <laughs> I hate hangnails. Up. Anyways, ugh. and then if you cut a lemon, it stings. Don't do it. Oh, uh, there's a leaving Bangkok travel vlog coming soon. Wow. Did she have to get, like, lifted out in a freaking helicopter? All right, anyways, this is... Hi, Julia! She got groomed today. Doesn't she look amazing? She smells good, too. They put this, like... Oh, dude, why listen? Salah so seems like a freaking man baby, dude. He, what, couldn't even brush the f***ing cat a few times while you were gone? I roll. I'm surprised the things don't freaking starve to death with him there. Refreshing, I don't know, deodorizing powder on her? I don't know if it's the shampoo or what it is, but... They said, yo, p stank. <laughs> oh, that video is demonetized. Smells nice. Anyway... I have a team you haul. Now I team you team you I don't like how she pronounces things. I show the items on my live stream last night. You can check that out. Um, but the clothing I did say I would come back and do a um, try on haul. So that's what I'm here to see. The sad part is it's all 5x clothing. It's still really tight on her. Do so. I just have some underclothing on right now, so I can put, you know, try on the clothes for you guys. Um, I did get. And how are you sitting down and so out of breath? Like her face, it looks bigger, but not like crazy bigger. You see it in the arms. You can see it. She's just swelling up. This really cute phone case. But uh, yeah, so adorable. It's like already greasy. <laughs> like it's black. Well. Foodie, 
your your mitts have been all over it. Of course it's freaking greasy, girl. I can, like, plastic, so it has, like, I don't know. Oh, the way that you could see it bending as she, like, turned it? No. <laughs> no, that thing's gonna break your phone. But it's pretty cool because it comes with, like, a, a built-in pop socket. Wow. And I got these sunglasses, which I think are pretty cool. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I feel like she's missing, like, divine eyebrows. You know what I'm saying? Eyebrows that go up past. But, um, girl, wh where'd you get them from? Is it, like, a designer or something? Listen, I, I know it's snooty and whatnot. I think designer sunglasses are one of the few luxuries in life that's actually worth it. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I would never pay an absurd, absurd amount. Some people would look and see $200 for a pair of sunglasses as an absurd amount. I hear that. I a thousand percent hear that. Um, but, like, I have $2 sunglasses and $200 sunglasses. Which one do you think has lasted me the longest? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave that pause in there because it's true. It's true. I'm sorry. They last so much longer. I've had my uh one pair for like 10 years now literally like 10 years that's crazy and they still are perfect <laughs> a fake nose ring yes from timu actually it's pretty comfortable like i got it to fit right and ew timu jewelry in your face oh girl Ugh. that just gives me the heebie-jeebies it just does I don't know why. I'm sure there's like surgical grade steel stuff on there and whatnot, but you'd have to really look. Ugh. Ugh, food. And yeah, so I can take it out whenever it annoys me. It's not. It's so weird to me. How does she get this? How, like there's the line in her face and then there's the line of redness, dude. It's like she has triangles painted under her eyes. Well, she is the clown, ain't she? Ooh. Ooh, her rosacea is even playing the part now. Permanent. That's what I like about it. <laughs> so, anyways, guys. I mean, I'm going to be so for real. I have in the jewelry, at, just for my uh, bridge piercing. All the others I've changed out, but my bridge, that's the bar that I got when I got it pierced. I just don't feel like changing it out. I hate, I hate looking at the scar that's there now so i just leave it in all the time and then i don't see it <laughs> um yeah and the glasses are cute not bad for like under 10 bucks girl i would not be getting oh sunglasses oh those were t under 10 okay that's not too bad they looked nice that's not too bad i guess she's gonna sit on them though comes with like a pouch and um a glass cleaner and it comes in this cute box so anyways um cute box <laughs> i i'm trying to place another team order for some more things girl really really i ordered a few things from timu but i'm gonna be so for real you have to get very basic things from there or else or or judge your or gauge your expectations because there's always going to be something off about what you ordered. It's always not going to quite be what you expected. So just try to think, you know, before that. But it's kind of like Wishmaster. Y'all ever see that movie? <laughs> it's, it's pretty much like that. I would like to get some home goods this time. Um... But, like, there's so many things on Timu that I just feel lost when I'm there. And no, same, same. And they make it, like, a game. If you're on the app, they make it, like, a game to buy more stuff and earn more points. And they time you so you feel pressured. <laughs> it's, listen, the psychology behind the Timu app, very interesting. Very interesting. From a marketing and business standpoint, damn, they got it cracked. <clears throat> I just get like overstimulated and you literally like 
can't go there with specific things in mind that you need to buy because you're going to get sidetracked so quickly. That's the whole point. Like (laughs) before you know it, you've made like two separate purchases to try to earn some cash back thing. And you're just like, what the hell am I doing? (laughs) Like, what am I going to get? I need to get everything. So yeah. What, what? I mean, girl, please get something. That apartment is so dull. (laughs) Sorry, y'all. You know me. I can't do white walls. Ends up being supposedly a cheap Timu haul. Ends up being more expensive because of that. Anyways, all right. So I'm going to show you guys these shirts and I'm going to try them on. Also, like, if you see something on Timu that has a higher price, just wait a few weeks. Just wait a few weeks. I promise you'll probably be able to get it for free cat lit lint everywhere because my cat's been stuck to me like glue let me lift you guys up well she missed her uh you know crusty smell sack <laughs> what Ew. since i've been home from thailand yeah so i just spent like over a month in bangkok and pets do miss their owners when they go away this is a fact Sure. <laughs> I believe, I mean, obviously that's true. I just don't believe that her pets were missing her. I've learned that. Not even her husband missed her. Shut up. Uh, the hard way. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Oh, you learned that the hard way? Why? You're not the one dealing with the animals that you fully abandoned. What do you freaking care, dude? Um, so the first shirt I got was this white, white t-shirt. Oh, this is so ALR coded. Um, I don't have like... We're just laying it across our chest and hoping people can pick up what it is. Just a plain t-shirt, but um, I wanted to get one so that um, I could, you know, wear it with my elephant pants in Thailand, but my team would order... Uh, yeah, elephant pants? Girl. ...here after I left, unfortunately. But since it's short sleeve, I'll wear this shirt under it. So let's um, try this first shirt on here. And this is a 5X, I believe, so. Damn, it looks small for you. Let's go try it on, yella. All right, you guys. Foodie. Oh. Here we go. We have a basic white t-shirt. Ugh, how do you get that build, dude? Like that? So this will be good just to wear out. You can tell. You can see it on her face. She's in so much pain standing up right now, which I believe a... Uh... Or with the elephant pants next time I go to Bangkok. But yeah, so this is just uh, shirt number one. It's a comfortable basic white t-shirt. Um, somebody messy like me probably shouldn't be wearing white too often, but... I like the little scrunchy detail here anyways. But yeah, and uh, so that's number one. And don't forget, please. Maybe it's not as tight as it appears. I think it's sticking to the fabric underneath, which is making it not lay flattering on her. But... uh, (laughs) Let me know in the comments. I'm just trying to be rational, you guys. You, my cat looking at me. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. <laughs> Please let me know in the comments your favorite. Any suggestions? Dude, I wouldn't be able to take a month long vacation from Goo. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The morning that he didn't have, or blah, what the hell am I saying? The morning that he had his uh, neutering. I didn't know what the hell to do with myself. I mean, granted, I was so freaking nervous, but also just having an empty house, having a quiet house like that, oh, it was hell. It was hell. I just always need his presence with me, except for that day in Massachusetts. That was fine, because I knew I was going back to him. (laughs) But my mom also was sending me, like, hourly updates. (laughs) Questions, things like that. All right, off to number two. Hi, you my baby. My baby, my sleepy baby boy. Hi. Yeah, he's still a sleepy head. He's still a sleepy head. He actually let me sleep in today. What a good boy. 
All right, here's blouse number two. So. Okay. Okay, I see more potential in this one. It helps. Foodie, listen. Take it from a gaby. It helps that the waistline is right underneath your cleave. I know that's not <laughs> a good way to say it, but that's a good waistline to have when you have this type of body shape. Oh, yeah. I was actually excited to try this one because I thought, you know, um, I like the color. When you have cool skin tones, darker winter colors, whatever. Since when is red a cooler skin tone color? Huh? Is it mixed in with the blue because you're not getting enough oxygen? Is it that? Is that where the cool comes from? <laughs> They look good on better on you so yeah <laughs> i see i have a warmer undertone complexion even though i'm pale af <laughs> okay i'm white <laughs> but like blues and whatnot cooler toned colors look so good on me and they make me look so much tanner than red her Dude, ooh, ooh, the rosacea. Um, really like it. It's cinched in here, so it gives me a little bit of shape. Um, whatever. Hey, round is the shape. Well, that shape is, I don't know. But <laughs> it's, um, it's comfy. It's, it's, it's a bit. It's made for someone with your body type, that waistline. So, yeah, she didn't miss the ball too much stretchy like i can't describe it but why does she go for and i don't mean this in like an offensive way it's just giving the style all right like these amish sleeves and <laughs> from the yoke up it's always amish style like i don't know the puff shoulders puff cuffs it's just kind of given that isn't it but it's it's really cool it's modest and it's really maybe that's it maybe that's just the trend of modest clothing i guess but i mean damn nice i like it let me know what you guys think so yeah so this is i think this one is definitely a better option shirt dress whatever number two okay i don't know about this one oh my god i think it's a bit tight it's um is that supposed to be a dress girl that's definitely supposed to be a dress yeah yeah Ooh. you need to get some shapewear all right drop some money get some skims or whatever the hell you need and slide that shit in get a waist trainer <laughs> Brother, she would need, she'd be like Jiggly Caliente in that one episode, like one extra large corset plus another extra large corset is one fat ass corset. <laughs> it's got little pockets, but yeah, it's. Girl, can you reach them? <laughs> it's a little form fitting, so. A little. I don't know if I'm going to keep... If the form was Humpty Dumpty. It. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whenever she goes to the side, that means we got our thumbnail. <laughs> oh my gosh. The perspective. I don't think it's very flattering for my figure. Yeah, you think? Um. So either I'm going to return it... Or uh, maybe just wait till, you know, I lose some weight. I don't know. Foodie, I think you, I, and everyone watching on your channel and on mine knows that, that that's not going to happen. It's very strict. Give it to Salah. Maybe he could wear it. <laughs> right down. And shirts like this, I don't think to be. That's not a shirt, girl. I can just tell. That's not a shirt. That's not a shirt. This is a full-on dress. Clee, flatter my figure, but um, I thought the cats were cute, and I don't know. Um, all the clothes, by the way, are 5X that I have. 
Well, to be fair, you could still wear kind of like an open necked top and you would still be able to see the ta- most of the cats, the patterns and everything. And then and, 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 <laughs> it would hide, you know, this. <laughs> including this one so see it just depends on the style of the shirt and it also depends on the the make the material and stuff so oh wow thank you i roll oh <laughs> see she tries to sound i guess informed and in some cases she really is more so than amber lynn i'll give her that credit she is a little bit more educated that's sad but Sometimes she just tries to sound so smart and she's just saying the most like, yeah, no shit thing, you know, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to give this one a thumbs down. Yeah, don't worry. We do, too. OK, so here's the next one. Um, I'm going to show you. Ish. Ish. Does patterns go into the whole modesty thing? Because that's like an assault on my eyes. Close the neck like a turtleneck now this very may well be possibly um manufactured by the same person who did the the same person the same company who did the blue dress because well i would guess so um <laughs> brother that uh, let me lean back over my own shoulder so i can see the floor what the hell it's the same type of material and it fits Wow. I'll give her this. Look at those ankles. Amber Lynn. <laughs> Where you at, girl? Show her how it's done. Similar way. So, yeah, long sleeve, very modest, very cutesy, very demure. I had to put that in there. And, yeah, this is, uh, this is like a, I don't know, cheetah print, but there's blue. So it's like if a cheetah made it with a smurf i have no idea it's blue raspberry girl you bought it Free cheetah okay <laughs> um but anyway um yeah this is the the next one here now i actually really 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 like this dress i i guess from a distance it's actually not bad i kind of enjoy it from a distance but up close that you can tell it's like a cheetah print then it kind of throws me off or leopard whatever like i don't know if it's a dress or a shirt or what it's like a long girl that's a dress it's a dress <laughs> it just happens to fit shirt thing for me i always wear pants under so it's actually um really cozy and it's actually lightweight and you know, I won't. Those do look like comfortable, like moo moos, essentially. Have to be so hot going out in these clothes. So um, I actually really like the modest tops that they have on at Timu. And they're affordable. And like I said, um, you know, they have my size for a lot of things. So that's why I shop there mostly. But um, I really like this dress. So this one and the blue one are my favorite so far. She definitely has to shop in like a plus size section on there, right? Like, special listings for plus size modest clothing i just have a feeling that not a lot on there is going to fit her unless she specifies it to you know all right this last shirt is a little snug it's not going to do up comfortably i can tell oh my god um yeah it's a bit snug girl you look like me when i'm up in my studio <laughs> So, again, it just depends on the make and material. Actually, it's okay because... It could just function as, like, a nice kind of overcoat kind of thing. I actually really don't like this shirt. Oh, really? I mean, the pattern's a little bit meh. I don't like the style. Um, I don't like... Her arms are really tight in it, you can tell really the design is like so cheap and worn out looking um well once again this is a matter of gauge your expectations with timu ek even those other dresses when she got closer to the camera you could tell that wasn't nice fabric i'll show you what i what i mean okay so if you look at the material or if you look at the designs 
They're just like... That looks like a safari person's like jacket, right? It, yeah, it's just probably stamped on there, girl. I don't know. It looks like it was like cheaply printed. Probably Maybe. was. How much did you pay for it, huh? Uh, that'll tell ya. It's like in person it looks different, but I don't like this shirt. I don't like it. It looks really good on the model, and then, you know, yeah. I'm not the model, so. So she tried to get a dress shirt? Oh, okay. Well, a shirt dress. I should say that. <laughs> a shirt dress. <laughs> dress shirt is technically something else. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I'm gonna see, maybe I'll return the two shirts, but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, she's too lazy to do that. Um, I think there's a time limit on returns, so I don't even know if I'll be able to. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I guess that's about- So your loving and oh so adoring husband couldn't take photos of the things that came in the mail for you? Huh? Huh? Couldn't do that? Couldn't be like, so babe, would you, do you like these? Okay. It for the clothing. Um, that's all I got to try on. So I guess the the main thing is those two nice shirts. Uh, you know, they're really nice. Maybe I can check out on Timu, the company that makes them, and order more styles from that because... Very Amberlynn coded. That's the style, you know, I'm going for. I like it. I like something long. Like, when for clothing, what I'm going for, something modest. So something that, you know, clothing that covers everything yeah. see i i just find the hyper intense focus on the whole modesty thing to be a little bit ironic because it's foodie beauty i mean she literally used to like flap her fupa around on the internet <laughs> how many times have we seen this girl in very immodest uh, situations because of my hands face and feet um something that's true to size that fits my size usually around 5x and yeah usually because almost every single one of those things looked pretty tight except for the things that had waistlines that were made for you so uh, or waistlines that were accommodating for you did y'all hear my stomach again god damn i don't know why it's been so noisy in the mornings lately she knows she is not fed until the afternoon <laughs> And also, um, something long that covers everything too. I don't like like the bottom, like my my the bottom of my belly showing or stuff like that. I like everything covered. I like like my behind fully covered, everything covered. So, um, yeah, that's an insecurity thing, girl. It's definitely not religion because you haven't said Bismillah. It's with eating in probably two or three weeks. Yeah. So everything has to be covered. So those. Those dresses, and they're stylish, and they tick off all the boxes I like. So I'll be keeping those shirts and the white t-shirt. You can't go wrong with a plain white t-shirt. It's very versatile. So yeah, so. Incredible. Why are you so, like, tired right now, dude? All right, guys. I mean, we know why. Guys, so I hope you enjoyed this. I know I did um, enjoy showing you guys. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this haul. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Yeesh. Yeesh, y'all. Ugh. All right, well, this was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you, but that's fine. Thank you so, so much for tuning on in, you guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe. Become a channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm going to go watch the new episode of Boulay Brothers Dragula. So, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.